Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. If you want to have truly resolution independent and lightweight icons inside your app, you should use vector drawables. But what if you don't want to always import new icons? Making a vector drawable is not hard, but it is not quick either. You have to go to the drawables folder, right click, new, image asset or actually vector asset, and then pick a material icon or a local file and then proceed through next and then finally finish. What if you want to have a quick and easy access to all of the material icons? Well, you can use a material icon library. A link to this GitHub repository is inside the video description. It's a pretty small library because it uses a font to make those icons. So let's get started, shall we? First up, we should get the font. Even if we skip this step, this library would work, but only on device. For some strange reason, Android Studio doesn't display these icons in the preview unless you download this font. It writes that you can get the font file here, so just click it and download it. Now, once we have the font, let's go to Android Studio. Click on Android here and select Project. And we want to go to App, Source, Main. And right-click on Main, create a new directory and name it Assets. Alright, now we can go back to the Android view. Now right-click on Assets and select Show in Explorer. Open it up and let's put the web font inside here. Alright, next up we need to tell Gradle to include this library inside our project. So let's go back to the browser, copy this line and go to build.gradle for the module app and paste it inside dependencies. And we are good to go. Currently the main activity looks like this. Let's change it up a bit with material icons. So let's delete this text view and instead create material icon view. Wrap content and wrap content for both width and height. And the material icon should be YouTube play button. So app material icon is equal to YouTube play. And make sure that you have the app namespace already defined. Now app material icon color we want to set it to youtube red which is ff0000 which is basically just plain red and now app material icon size is gonna be equal to 72 dp all right now let's open up the preview and let's anchor this view cool stuff you can also use material icons in a plain old image view so let's create one it's gonna have an id and it's gonna be equal to add plus ID image view. And let's put the default image over here. So Android SRC is equal to Android drawable. I see delete. This is here just to have something in there. And let's set constraints for this view too. And let's move these views around. And that's okay. Now let's go to the main activity Kotlin file. And inside floating action button on click listener, let's set material icon drawable to be on the image view. So let's delete this snack bar thing and instead write val for immutable variable, material icon drawable, because we need to make a drawable out of the web font first. And this material icon drawable will be created by calling functions on material drawable builder. We want to specify a context, so with this, and now set icon to be material icon drawable builder dot icon value dot android. Now set color to be color green and set size dp. We can also set size px or set size from a resource, so from a diamonds file. But we are gonna choose dp because that's the simplest one. And this is gonna be for the 8 dp. And now we wanna call build to actually make the material icon drawable. And all we need to do now is to get our image view. And we wanna set image drawable. And we wanna set it to material icon drawable. Alright. Before we test this, let's put an icon to the action bars menu as well. So let's go to menu main.xml. And let's create another item. Its ID will be menu github. Title will be github. Then app show as action will be if room and app material icon will be github circle and it also has auto completion now let's go to main activity and inside on create options menu let's delete this menu inflator and instead use material menu inflator again we want to specify context so with this we also want to set default color to be color white and now we are good to go so let's test this app 
And here we have it. Here is our YouTube icon and GitHub icon in the action bar. And here is the ugly cross image. When we click on the floating action button, it's going to change to Android icon. And that's it for this video. If you wanna get the code from this tutorial, click on the link in the video description, which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. If this tutorial helped you with putting material icons inside your app, give it a like and also share it. If you don't wanna miss more tutorials like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Leave a comment if you have anything to say, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.